Love hearing that. Thanks, Bill. The Salvation Army feeds hundreds of people during their annual Christmas meal, and this year was no different. LX18 Sophia Millar stopped by the local headquarters to see how volunteers are giving back this season. Beautiful day to give a hand. And for some today, it's not their first time donating their Christmases to their community. We started here when we relocated from Ohio in 1990. Doug Gray isn't new to spending Christmas within the walls of the Salvation Army, and not just as a volunteer. I myself was raised on the welfare system, and Christmas was Salvation Army. They gave us food, they gave us uh, clothes, toys. So it's giving back to what we uh, were beneficial to receive back in the day. Hundreds of people ate a hot lunch during the Salvation Army's annual Christmas meal. Sometimes they're alone, uh, sometimes it's a whole family, but uh, they know that they're cared for. Uh, they, they know that it's, just, it's not just a meal. Uh, people take the time to get to know them and talk to them. There was even food delivered to some families who couldn't make it to the headquarters. We have drivers to take out 200 meals. Um, that kind of giving on this day is just something that's just over the top to me. It's an act of kindness even the littlest of volunteers feel proud of. I feel like after this I feel really good about myself and feel like I've really done something really great because like, I feel like not everyone could really do this. Plus, the generosity resonates with those at the dining table. Just for one day, just for a couple hours, to have a sense that things are kind of normal, that uh, everything's going to be okay, that you're not forgotten. In Lexington, Sophia Millar, LEX 18 News. Though the annual Christmas meal is over, the Salvation Army headquarters is open Monday through Friday with services including a food pantry and clothing bank.